All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on side B. A GACAM virtual conference. I'm here. So, those that want to come on here and um, talk about um, the conversation I just had on side A, you're more than welcome to do so. I am here. This is side B. This is the Gurkham Virtual Conference. Um, anyone that wants to talk about um, side A, you're more than welcome to um, send me a message and you can come on here and we can talk about it. Don't get shy on me now. I have 1,923 people that's on my Facebook friends list. Surely out of 1,923 people, there should be at least seven people that's not afraid about getting on camera and talking about the conversation I just uh, mentioned inside A. I'm here. Hello, Prophet is um Prophet is Hope. I see you on here. Uh, uh I want you to try to come on um camera or you don't have to be on camera, just you can um use an icon or picture. So, hey, I'm here. I'm looking on my uh, smartphone and seeing how I can... Uh, get more people to um i guess send an invite I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. This is side B. If you watch side A, then I would like for you to come on here and for us to discuss uh, the uh, issues that I mentioned earlier. I'm encouraging everybody that's on my Facebook friends list, first and foremost, to join the grassroots community activist movement. That's what makes us different than all these other black uh, organizations that's out, out there. Ours is focusing on raising the bar here in America as well as once we come to Africa, we're going to raise the bar over there as well. This is grassroots, 100%. I am the founder and president of the Grassroots Community Activist Movement. And those that consider joining or want to be a part of this, want to know more about it, purchase my revised book, The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America, second edition. Read the whole book. And those that agree, I would like for you to uh, make arrangements to come on this show so we can talk about it. 
All we're doing is having a conversation. You don't have to be scared. This is, you know, this is a business that I'm pushing. Ladies and gentlemen, so I give everybody the heads up. I let everybody know in advance every month, every last Saturday of the month, I host these virtual conferences. Okay, so do you know how to get on here? Prophetess Hope, um, send me a, um, send me an invite so you can come on here. Yes, this is the hardest part about this. This is why I like using StreamYard, but, you know, I mean, I have to be where people are at. And, you know, a lot of people are on Facebook, so, hey, I'm on Facebook, you know. But sometimes it act kind of um, janky, but it is what it is. I am here. Yeah, so I'm trying to bring you on camera. I mean, you know, it's not letting it. I'm using both. I'm using my laptop and my smartphone. Happy birthday, Apostle Sarah Banna. I'm grateful that you are here. Um, I would like for you to try to come on the show, um, you know, send me an invite. The way this thing works is kind of janky. I mean, it is what it is. I'm grateful to use Facebook, but uh, it, it's not that user friendly with um, me. That's how come I like to use StreamYard. It's more uh, user friendly and we can interact with each other in real time. But a lot of you all, you know, don't, um, a lot of the people that I interact with on Facebook, um, I think they get kind of intimidated about uh, getting on camera. So what I say is that you could just use an icon and people can just hear your voice. So. But I'm doing the best I, I can on my end. You know, I'm trying to get my message out there. I'm trying to move my uh, Christian business from behind a computer. But again, it takes capital. And I want people to join my Christian group, the Grassroots Community Activist Movement. And the best way to join is to first purchase my revised book. So you can, you can actually have a physical book that you can hold. So this is the paperback. I also have it available as um, an ebook, and you can get you can get my book um, on Amazon. I provided the link on um, side A in the comment section. So you know you go over there and you can um, get the book that way. Now my um, my ebook is available for $9.99 and the paperback is available for $15 plus shipping and handling. I'm encouraging Africans here within the United States of America from South Africa, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tanzania, Uganda, Angolia, Liberia, Ivory Coast, Ghana, and Nigeria. Please stand up. Stand up and work with me to help, um, I would say, get this thing rolling. We want to get it popping here in America first before we expand it to Africa. I have to do it. That's, you know, um, that's what um, 
the Lord placed on my heart to do. We have to get it popping here in America first for credibility. Again, it's been 32 years. I don't want to be doing this another 32 years. All I have is my um, revised book, my virtual store. This is what the um, one of the things I sell on my uh, virtual store is my T-shirt. I sell coffee mugs, um, posters, beach towels, etc. Trying to generate capital for this film project. Also, we have uh, renewed our GoFundMe page. So it's ready. So far, I don't have, I have zero donations. And that's not cool. This is why it's taking so long. Because, again... I have the vision, I have the plan, but, you know, it takes a team to make a dream work. And I have 1,923 people that's on my Facebook friends list. And that's on Facebook alone. I'm not going to worry about the other social sites I'm on because this is where I'm at the most now. That I'm trying to interact with people. This is where I use my social groups at the most now. So, the Burton... It's not on me, but this is a shared burden. Over here, I don't want us to be complaining about the white man and the government. We're going to solve our social issues at the grassroots level. Um, first here in the city of Chicago. Black Chicagoans is going to feel the pain. It's going to get very rough for them. It's going to get very rough. I've been warning black Chicagoans. For the past 32 years about my vision and plan and they set up here and took me for joke and now they're gonna feel the burn however there's still time because I have little to no support I'm not gonna let that um, the ones that's negative those people we're gonna separate ourselves from so this is how come I'm advocating for um, this is going to be membership base. If you're not a member, then, you know, just keep it moving. And when you start, when those um, road cops come after you and stuff, don't post all those videos because we already know what's going on. But you don't want to be get involved with an um, organization like mine. But hey, it is what it is. People have free will. Over here... I'm not having no con artists. If I catch a con artist uh, in my business, we're going to, um, I would just say we'll pay them a visit because we're going to have access to their their name. I'm going to put them on blast through that Judas list. Their name, photo ID, and address. So they won't be able to hide. I am in the black media, so that's dumb to sit up here to want to um, try to um, run game on me and my business. So we're law abiding citizens over here. So um, we want to solve social issues at the grassroots level. That's what I'm all about. But I'm just trying to move to the next level. I want us to get this film project fully funded and made, but before we do that, please help get my revised book on that bestsellers list so that way the whole black world would take us serious and know our story. That's all I'm saying. So I'm here. Now, what I want to say too Let's say if you're not able, you know, you keep, you know, um, trying not, you're, you want to participate, but yes, I know people got life outside of uh, the internet and all that, and that's understandable. People are, you know, uh, working, people have families, people are in school, etc. So, I'm flexible. Um, leave comments. Leave comments in the comment section, especially on my uh, Facebook friends list or um, in the uh, comments below this video uh, podcast. 
but also leave comments on my YouTube page. Um, and share it with your friends. Help it go, um, make it help it go viral. So not don't just limit it to just Facebook, all the social medias that you may be on. Um, I would say Instagram, TikTok, um, LinkedIn, um, X, for, formerly known as uh, Twitter. So put me on blast. That's all I'm saying. Because I'm trying to do, build something positive for my racial group here in, in America, starting in Chicago. It's not easy. That Willie Lynch mentality is um, 400 years, you know, has been affecting our people, our racial group. And uh, I would say African immigrants and Native Africans have been affected by the colonized mindset. But I have, um, I would say I have a cure for that. And that's what I promote in my revised book. And um, all of the principles in my revised book is the code that GERCAM members will, you know, follow. That's what we need in order to get things done for us to be on the same page. But we have to separate ourselves from off-code Negroes, um, degenerates, hardened criminals, pedophiles, con artists, those kind of people bring down our racial group. So we don't want those type of people in this business. I don't care how much money they have. I don't want to, nothing to do with them. Not saying that I'm better. It's just that um, if you put a rotten apple in a basket full of fresh apples, it's going to contaminate that whole um, basket of apples. So we want to separate ourselves from the people that's full of corrupt corruption that you know just want to um i would just say they white supremacist um sympathizers they want to keep us um down because in their uh, mind you know well they they have that slave mentality they think that that's what god's will is for them for black people to be down and have to sit up here and depend on other businesses. This is why black America is in the social conditions it is today. And because of these off cold Negroes, they're making it worse for us to live here in America. They really are because of the, their voting patterns. I need for you all to come on this, um, send me an um, invite to come on here so you can talk. Because I don't want to just sit up here and be running off at the mouth. I want to hear other people's perspective. And I want to encourage people to read my revised book. It's been on Amazon for 12 years. That's not cool. Work with me while I'm alive. Don't wait till I'm dead. I'm trying to do something. Something positive. Oh, okay. Um, well, Prophetess Hope is saying that she needs a smartphone. Yes, I hear you. I feel your pain. Now, I'll be praying for you, sister. Um, I can't, matter of fact, I can get you on here. You know, um, hold on. I, I, there's a way. Hold on. You don't have to be on camera. I'm, I'm going to call you through um, my smartphone right now. See, again, I might, I prefer for us to, you know, connect on through... StreamYard. I, I told you all I'm willing to teach you how to use StreamYard so because it's more user friendly. Over here, we have a hard time, you know, the way they have things set up, you know, it is what it is.
I'm grateful for this technology, but I just wish it was more user friendly. And, um, oh boy. I'm trying to uh, bring you all on camera, you know. Hello, um, Prince. Um, won't go. How you doing? It's been a long time. Pastor Esther Lib Libby, thank you for watching. But I wish I can get you to come on the show so you can um, talk. Because I don't want to be sitting up here just running off at the mouth. I want to hear other people's perspective. If anyone want to uh, challenge me and debate me, bring it on. You know what I'm saying? Make it happen. I know my stuff. And I... Gracam is about the gospel of truth and facts. That's what we're about over here. So I don't just sit up here just to be running off at the mouth. I like to back up my stuff what's with what's going on currently in society, such, such as the migrant uh, crisis, such as urban gentrification, such as creating um, or pro promoting uh, African developments. I, I, I want to get my business popping here in America so that way when I come to Africa, I can bring tangibles. But you all that's on my friends list that um, want to sit up here and take me for joke, especially, um, I would say, um, my group members from Good Kai of Africa, that's not cool. You got, you all going to have to step up. Put me on blast, meaning share my, uh, I need y'all to help market this thing because I can't do everything. So just share the videos, leave uh, comments, and also make arrangements to come on this show. So we can talk about the issues, get more people involved, and um, I'm willing to teach people how to use StreamYard so that way we could do more of an effective type of show. But most of all, I need you all to help support me by uh, purchasing my revised book. This is legitimate. It's on Amazon. No scams here. Uh, read my story for yourself. Everything that's in that book, that's what we're going to carry out to the fullest. But what I've written is only half of my knowledge. It's more things that I want to say and do. But that's just a taste. But we have to build this thing together because this is a Nehemiah assignment. So you all that have uh, Native Africans that have family members um, that live abroad, let's say in the United States of America, please tell them about me. Or if you have family members that's in Europe, Canada, tell them about me. Encourage them to purchase my book and read my story for themselves. How are you doing? Um, oh my goodness. Pastor um, Vivian, if you can send me an invite so you can come on this um, video podcast. Because again, I don't want to just be sitting up here running off at the mouth. I already done that on side A. And some people, my critics might say it sounds monotone. So what? I don't care. My thing is, as long as I'm getting my message out loud and clear, I read my messages, or sorry, I read my speeches without shame because I am the founder and president of this business. And that's how it is, and that's how it's going to be. You don't tell the white man how to run his business. You're not going to tell me how to run mine.
those of you I'm, I'm grateful that you're watching but send me an invite so you can come on this video podcast so we can talk about it if you're not able to do that then um, I want you to write a message write a message in the um, comment section so I can read it and you know I try to answer your questions that way too because we're not gonna let uh, the the devil you know try to ruin this uh, opportunity that the Lord has blessed us with he blessed us with this technology again the grassroots community activist movement is at is, we're 100% grassroots I'm not reaching out to um, governments and all that kind of stuff I understand some of you all are saying your network is bad yeah that's something that we want to be able to um, create uh, through the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago. Um, one of our components is going to be science and technology. So that way we can create our own uh, social media, our own uh, streaming services. Over here, we want to create black empowerment films, positive films, and give our black youth as well as African youth an opportunity to uh, display their talents and skills on screen so that way the whole world will know something positive about what we're trying to do and what we will do. So uh, what I'm going to encourage all of my, uh, I would say viewers, write a message so that way I can read it and then I'm going to answer your uh, questions, okay? Since you're not able to send me an invite to uh, come on this um, video podcast. I'm going to stay on here for maybe another 30 more minutes and then, you know, I'm going to call it a day, but. I, hey, I am trying to bring them on camera, but a lot of people are not coming on. One person I clicked on, it says this person was unable to join because of technical issues. So what I want you all to do is uh, write a message so that way I can read it and then we'll do the best that we, you know, I mean, that's the best that I can do for now. But in the future, just connect with me, make arrangements with me so you can um, come on my stream and we could network in real time with each other. It's just that simple. The best way to, um, I would say the best way to help, help me move to the next level is by purchasing my, my revised book, reading my story, and sharing my information about the book with all of your friends. Also, if you agree with what, ha what I've written, then leave a give a donation to our film project on our GoFundMe page. If you're a U.S. citizen, then I recommend that you give um, a donation through our PayPal page because you can use that as a tax write-off because this is a legitimate 501c3. The whole purpose of me doing this film project is because I want the whole black world to know my, uh, or know our story. We're not asking for permission. We're going to take the lead. When we come to Africa, we're going to replicate the same business, but we're going to focus on solving African issues. For example, when we come to South Africa, we're going to focus on um, solving, it's called load shedding, which is another word for rolling blackouts. We're going to help solve those issues. 
the diaspora, people that are members of the grassroots community activist movement in exchange for citizenship because I want to be able to give my people or my members options. I want them to be able to have dual citizenship. So that way they don't have to be treated as third, fourth, and fifth class citizens in America. The only reason why we're going through all of this stuff is because the white supremacist financial elites, they know that we don't really have um, no Af no uh, like African nation that would take us in. But if we form an alliance with them, we solve, you know, um, I would say, you know, some of the social problems and help improve the African economy through this Christian business, then we can, um, in exchange for our talents, we can um, bargain and have those African governments to allow us to have dual citizenship. That's what we're trying to do over here in this business. But I gotta get it popping here in America first. Like I said before, without shame, I have family members that they don't want to see me uh, have a successful Christian business. They, they don't want to buy the book. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm fine with that. But those are the people that I stay away from. I only associate myself with only a handful of my uh, family members because the majority of them are full of that Willie Lynch mentality. And like I say, this is what um, my creator, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he revealed this to me. And I'm going to stand on that. Separate yourself. Because water and oil doesn't mix. Now, um, I'm going a little bit off topic, but I'm going to just go there. Um, I, I was exposed to the Nation of Islam because some of my, um, when I was in high school, uh, some of my um, high school uh, peers were Muslims. And I respect Muslims, you know. But basically, you know, they were just saying, you know, they want to separate themselves from the quote unquote white man. But you can't do that if you're living in the white in the white man's uh, country. Even if you had your own land and, you know, you purchased land and all that stuff, you're still living in his country. So he's going to dictate everything over here. All I'm saying is we got to um, pull our resources together. Learn how to get along with each other in terms of, I would say, black black Americans and um, African immigrants here in America for us to work together. Because we're going to build the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago together. So that way it can be beneficial for the African American community as well as beneficial for the African immigrant community and we want to replicate that same business on the African continent. That's what I am called to do. And I am called to raise the bar. In my business, we will not have any corruption because we're going to have protocol in place. And people are going to try to rip me off. They go, I know it. The devil, he's slick. And people are going to want to try, try us. But we'll be ready for them. Over here, we're not going to have corruption. And you don't have to be a Christian, technically, to be part of this business, long as you're a law-abiding citizen. That's all I ask that you purchase. If I want you to become Gurkham members. That's, that's who I'm trying to talk to, basically. Like-minded um, black Americans, like-minded Africans. I want you to join the grassroots community activist movement. So I'm calling upon everybody that's on my friends list on Facebook. I have 1,923 people. I'm asking all of you all to um, please consider becoming a GERCAM member. And the way you can become a GERCAM member, purchase my revised book. 
and to find my revised book, you will go back to, um, I would say, side A of this uh, virtual conference in February. In February. And look at the uh, links in the uh, comment section on my YouTube uh, page. And there you will have access to what I'm talking about. Once I'm done with this video podcast, I'm going to also um, replicate the same uh, links on on here as well. I'm doing fine evangelists. Um, I, you know, I can't pronounce your name. You got a long name, but I'm going to just say uh, Evangelist Ben. Uh, thanks for watching. So anyway, I want you all to purchase that revised book, read my story, make arrangements with me, so that way uh, we could um, do the show on uh, stream through StreamYard, because again, that's more to me is more user friendly. I'm not gonna have all these technical difficulties, and also that's the in that's the enemy too. You know, this is spiritual warfare at its best. Um, this 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 uh, Christian business is bigger than myself. I'm grateful that God has allowed to put place this on my heart to try to do something positive for my racial group. But I just wish that you know things would go much faster. You know, again, I've been. I'm still on first base. I believe once we get this thing up and running here in America and I ex we expand it to Africa, it's going to go much faster. Because once I come to Africa, I'm not going to waste time trying to explain who I am. The Kai of Africa um, in South Africa, they're going to vouch for me. And South Africans here in America, when they when we do our um, African tour, they're going to come with us, some of them, you know. So whoever come with us, they're going to vouch for me, my character and all that stuff. But again, even in Africa, we are going, every, we're going to have to vet everyone. Because I want everybody, the way I, the way I do things, I lay everything out on the table. I want you to know the um, benefits of being part of this business. In this business, we want to make sure that everybody uh, reach their life goals. We're going to invest in our youth through our Black Empowerment Films. We're going to do international trade with our brothers and sisters in 10 African nations and also in the Caribbeans and eventually uh, in Brazil. But right now I'm just trying to uh, get this thing popping here in America first. The name of my film that we're trying to do is Hood Liberator, Made in Chicago, The War Against Willie Lynch Begins. And that's something that the devil don't want to come out. But we're going to make that come out to do our best. And in, in the proceeds from that film, whatever um, we earn from that, that's going to put me in a better position financially so I can do my job. I want to hire qualified black middle class professionals. That's going to make sure. Also, I want to hire two uh, African immigrants within the United States that's going to carry out the vision that the Lord Jesus Christ has given me to do. So that way this Christian business can be passed down to the next generation because um, not all black Americans are going to be able to just up and leave the America because of economics. Your camp is my gift to, I would say, black millennials, Generation Z, that's my gift to them. The people that has uh, rejected my vision and plan for the past 
32 years, Lord have mercy on them, but they would not be part of my business. Because I'm not doing this, you know, trying to be popular and having a whole lot of people to like me and stuff like that. I'm doing this to, uh, for un unborn uh, black boys and black girls. That's why I'm doing this. And I'm doing this too because this is my God-given assignment. Uh, Non-black sympathizers, they're welcome to join us, but they have to take a back seat. Because we, as black people, we have to build this and we have to own it. Point blank. Um, I thank you all for listening. Um, again, people got free will. My book has been on Amazon for 12 years years barely selling items on my virtual store still on the um, shelf barely selling so my film project is my last attempt to try to do something positive for my racial group here in America I come against this Willie Lynch mentality in Jesus name over here in my business we reject the n-word our motto is intelligence over ignorance. And that's real. Um, I want you all to, again, like I say, purchase the book, read my story. That's part one. But part two is to um, donate what you can to the film project on our GoFundMe page. If you're a U.S. citizen, I recommend you uh, do a donation through our GoFundMe, uh, sorry, through our PayPal page so you can use as a tax write-off. And um, again, leave comments. Those of you that's, um, you know, Christians, I need for you to pray, but not just pray because faith without works is dead. So share my information, um, you know, with your congregation. All, all it is is a book, so, you know, it is what it is. You know, I know a lot of people don't like to read. But you, you're going to get benefits from this business. Because through this business, we're going to own and uh, we're going to own and control our, our own, um, I would say, grocery store. This is... Um, the for-profit uh, side of the business. So we're going to own and control our own community grocery store, our own own and control our own um, community health care clinic, own and control our own um, housing. So we're going to get into uh, real estate. And so this is something that's going to be positive and we're going to do that uh, within the community to help um, I would say people's lives to help improve um, our youth and give our youth opportunities. That's all. With that being said, um, I don't have anything else. It's almost time. my time is running out. But thank you all for listening. Please leave comments again, okay? That's important. Leave comments. And most of all, please make arrangements to come on this um, video podcast because this is not a one-man show. Over here, I want to give everyone an opportunity if you're a um, business owner. I, I want to give you an opportunity to promote your business over here. If you have a small ministry, I want you to promote your um, ministry on, on, on this video podcast. That's what this platform is all about. I want to do the same thing when we have that physical building here in Chicago. Give our members an opportunity to shine. Only thing is, by then, you know, I'm gonna, we're going to charge a small fee for that because 
you know, I have to pay my uh, employees. So, you know, but right now things is free and I'm quote unquote small. So you should try to work with me now while I'm still small. Um, I'm uh, again, I'm just doing the best that I can to get this thing popping. And so with that being said, I want to um, say thank you all for listening. Uh, try to have a safe um, weekend. Just be safe out there. You know, it's kind of rough. And um, I want to say God bless you and your family members. Peace and blessings. And that's going to conclude our video podcast um, for the month of February. Thank you.